Hi guys, Ben Taylor here and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be revealing to you today the new Canon EOS RP. Let's roll that intro. About five months ago, Canon released the EOS R. This was a 30 megapixel full frame mirrorless camera but they've just unveiled the new EOS RP. This is also another full frame mirrorless camera. So why have they just released another one straight after? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the differences and what this new camera from Canon is gonna offer. In Canon's EOS R, which was released about five months previously, it was more like an updated version of the 5D Mark IV. In fact, some aspects didn't even meet the specifics of the 5D Mark IV. So a lot of Canon users were actually feeling underwhelmed by the release of this camera. So why is it the Canon are releasing an EOS RP? Well, this is going to be a smaller camera than the EOS R. In fact, in some ways, considerably smaller. Take a look at this picture so that you can see the dimension differences between the EOS R and the EOS RP. The EOS RP is going to be 5.2 inches wide. It's also going to have 3.3 inches of height and 2.8 inches depth. As you can see, that is considerably smaller compared to the EOS R. Also, the weight of the camera is going to be lighter. The EOS RP is going to be just over a pound, whereas the EOS R was one and a half pound. So it's going to feel considerably lighter in the user's hand. Now this might be really appealing to travel photographers and other photographers looking to save even more weight in their setup. Now the EOS RP is not going to come along with the touch bar, which you found on the EOS R. Canon have removed this feature. Also, Canon have done away with the little joystick feature which controlled your EF points. They're now going to focus the user on just using the live view mode to control the EF points only. Some great news that I mentioned at the start of the video though is that the EOS RP is definitely going to be a full frame mirrorless camera. So what chip are they going to be using with the new EOS RP? Well, if we look back to the EOS R, they used the 5D Mark IV sensor and they also used the Digic 8 processor, which enabled the Canon camera, the EOS R, to perform 4K. Now we know that Canon have foul behind in the 4K arena recently, so it's very important for us to know that their new camera will have 4K offered. So what's the case or what's the story with the EOS RP? Well, Canon have said that the EOS RP is going to use the same chip as the 6D Mark II. Now that's quite surprising to hear, but it is gonna have the processor, which is the Digic 8 instead of the Digic 7. So what we're looking at so far and what Canon have said is some very strong similarities with the 6D Mark II. So this means one thing, that it's gonna be a 26.3 megapixel camera. Let's talk about the ISO of the EOS RP. Canon has specifically said that this is going to be from 100 up to 40,000. Now, obviously, you can upgrade that amount. One of the more surprising bits of news, which I feel a little let down by, but I, I feel like I need to see the camera released before I can say that this is definitely the case, is that the Canon EOS RP is said to only have five frames per second which is really low. If you think that the 6D Mark II has 6.5 frames per second, so actually it's less than that. Now I'm not quite sure why Canon have done this. It might be something to do with marketing and price point, but we'll have to wait for Canon's actual release on this matter before we know the real truth. So let's discuss one of the big things that you probably all wanna know about. Is this mirrorless full frame camera from Canon going to have 4K. The truth is, Canon haven't said, but I'm absolutely convinced it will have. 
Let's just look at the processor. The Digic 8 processor is used on the EOS R, which is a mirrorless camera, and also the M50, but that also shoots in 4K. Now, of course, there is a big crop with the M50, and I'm pretty sure that there will be a crop with the new EOS RP. But I could be wrong, and there may not be a crop. It could be Canon have actually sorted this out, and finally, we get the same 4K as you experience with Sony and Nikon cameras. One really exciting bit of news with the EOS RP is that there's been a lot of strong talk that they are actually upgrading from dual pixel focus, which is incredible, and Canon have always been very, very good contenders in the autofocus arena, but they're updating it to the eye autofocus, which I think that Sony cameras have recently updated to, and it's really, really good. So this means that Canon might be innovating. The one shocking bit of news about this is that the EOS R, which has been released five months previously and was priced at about £2,500, hasn't got that feature. So if you're a Canon owner and you're looking to go ahead and buy this camera, which is nearly half the price, and then you get that feature, you might be a little cheesed off if you bought the Canon EOS R only five months earlier and you're getting an autofocus that is not as good. Now, some of the things that we don't know about the Canon EOS RP is the wireless connectivity, uh, the port, is it going to have a headphone jack? The 6D Mark II doesn't have that. Is it going to have HDMI? We don't know. These are the questions are all up in the air at the moment. And the release date for this camera is set to be towards the end of this month. Now, that could get pushed back a bit further because these things tend to happen. But we're yet to know about this. So once again, we'll have to wait until the camera is actually released to find out this bit of information. OK, probably one of the most important things that you want to find out about is the price. What price have Canon said that they're going to introduce this camera into the market at? Well, it's said that it's going to be hitting the market at $1,300 to $1,500, which is really interesting because that means it's half the price of the Canon EOS R, but yet it's still a full frame mirrorless camera, which is more than likely going to have 4K. The interesting thing about this is that Canon's price point undercuts the Nikon Z7, the new Lumix S1, I believe it is from Panasonic, and also the A7R from Sony, which is really interesting. I want to know anyway what you guys think. So question of the day is, what do you think about what you've heard of the new EOS RP? Leave me some comments in the comments section under the video so we can discuss this after the video and see what you guys really think about this. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell if this is your first time on my channel. Whatever you do today, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.